In last video, we restored this database uh, on Azure SQL Managed Instance from storage account. And in this video, we will just do a backup to the same container. So right click on the database, go to tasks, go to backups. We'll take a full backup. You can see it's a copy only backup uh, and it's grayed out. So you cannot change that because of the automated backups behind the scenes. You will then sign in to your account your subscription will be selected then you select your storage account then the blob container and the expiration date for your SAS token create credentials click OK click OK click OK and if you go ahead and see your media options you can do verify backup when finished and also you can do a compression so let me select compress backup and click OK. So that's how you take a backup using SQL Server Management Studio UI. OK, let's go back and create a SAS token. Before taking the SAS token, let's just refresh and make sure that the backup is here. You can see the backup that we just created is here. And you can see the size is 51 MB from 200 MB which is because of the compression. Let's go back to our storage account and create a SAS token. Let's select the containers and the objects. Service as well. Uh, you can select an expiration date. Uh, you should always have your uh, SAS tokens rotated. So let me copy my SAS token. And this is your uh, command to create, create the credentials. So create credentials and you give the URL of your blob storage with the container name with identity as shared access signature and the secret. Once done, you should see your credentials here. After that, you just need to run the backup database to URL. But uh, I just copied this script so you can see the error that credential is not allowed so let me drop that and we would add the compression as well as some stats so let's add compression also as you can see we have copy only backup because uh, we have managed automated backups running so we cannot take backups other than copy only backups we have added stats and we run the command and you can see we got the five percent increment in the stats as we have provided the stats equals to five the backup is successfully done and here's the confirmation